team for the pub quiz is me, you... Nah, I'm in with the men's darts team. Oh, right. Me and who else? Me? Well, you, obviously. We could do a ladies team. Why me, obviously? Maybe I'll be on another team. Oh, don't be silly. We'll win easily. It's popular culture. Yeah. <gasps> look, look, Dick and Gloria are rowing. Oh, great. <laughs> right, Glor? Yeah, fine. Do you want to be in our ladies team for the quiz? Ladies? No, thanks. Come on, Belle. Book is on. Oi! I haven't finished my... Do you know, I think I'll dig up that patio and grow some veg. Yeah. Well, let's get the lecky paid for first. Dolly, can I borrow that jumper? What jumper? That blue fluffy one. Well, the one I just knitted. The, the skinny rib? Yes, the skinny rib. OK, but don't stretch it. It's a bit baggy on me already. Where are you going? Job interview at the new boutique. I've told Dad I've had enough of it at the garage. I want more glamour. Ooh, what new boutique? Oh, oh, I, I can't remember. Bye! New knitwear design shop. Persistent wanted. Perfect. What's that, Lev? Oh, uh, nothing. Must knit. Well, it can't be the one Belle's going for. Bye, Miss Stickleback. I'll definitely be in touch. Dolly, what are you doing here? Interview, what are you doing here? Dolly, I found it first. But the ad said must knit. Shh, so? Thought you know I could have a go. Dorothy Pond? Heaps of retailing experience, you know. Oh, and, oh yes, grade 3 CSE needlework. Um, oh, yeah, and I do all my own designs. Really? And are those knitted earrings your creation? They are, actually. <laughs> oh, God. Is Belle there? Oh, hello, Dolly. I'm out. She's out. What, again? But she never goes out unless I organise something. Any message? Yes, I just need my jumper back. Yeah, well, let's get the lecky paid for first. What's up with you? Nothing. Are you annoyed I got the job? No. Uh -huh. Oh, good. I mean, you're not really interested in it. Where are you? Have you got my jumper? That's at the dry cleaners. Oh, OK. You haven't stretched it? No, God. Two bacon sarnies for you, loves. Bell? What? My jumper! No, it's not your jumper. I saw some wool that was exactly the same, so I went and knitted... You can't knit! You no, know, I went on this course. And you told Sonia at the boutique that you knitted it. <laughs> I was going to overlook it, but... I didn't! Bell, why are you lying to me? I don't want to row. Putting on that baby voice won't help you. I don't want to row, OK? You wouldn't have a row if you just told me. I want to start shouting. I wouldn't be shouting if you just told me the truth in the first place! So it's my fault you're shouting. So it's my fault you're a liar! You always want what everyone else has got. I found that job. Why don't you just say if you're annoyed about the job? Yeah, right. It was hilarious. It rained the whole time, but there was an indoor pool. And my friend said, well, at least we won't get sunburnt. <laughs> Can you imagine? Uh, sort of. When me and Belle went to Greece... Oh, that reminds me. John, can you just see if you've got any 7394 in flesh and bullet 3-ply mohair mix? OK, bye. Um, Sonia, did you manage to show my earrings to the agent? What? Oh, yeah. No go, sorry, Dolly, but uh, keep on developing the design, sweetie. You never know. I bought your jumper. Maybe you could make another little jumper and make a pair of your earrings. Sorry about lying. Don't care, I suppose. Anyway, what's so great about the truth? At least I'm not tactless. Are you trying to say I'm tactless? Look, I'm so skinny, it still fits me. You are a bit tactless sometimes, actually, about my weight. I'm not. I don't always say when you look fat. You always borrow my leggings just so you can go on about how baggy they are. I don't! And go on and on about your non-existent bum and the one cell of cellulite on your stick legs and how you can't find trousers small enough. Oh, I see. It's all coming out now. Right, well... You're quite tactless the way you leave your big bras lying around on the radiator just to make me feel inadequate. Dolly, you know I'm sensitive about my chest. <laughs> Anyway, that's rich coming from Miss Dolly. I'm so lucky I can wear crop tops pond. Everyone thinks you're the goody. Poor Belle, she has to put up with horrible Dolly, when in fact you're sneakily, passive, aggressively horrible. Well, here we go, the old psycho babble trying to make excuses for what is basically just bad behaviour. Oh, piss off. You piss off. 
I can't believe it. After all I've done for her, I've been a really good friend to Belle. I'm really hurt. Really, really hurt. It's all so unfair. Look, I'm so slim and perfect it still fits at me. Thank God I haven't got ginormous jugs like at you. Queen Dolly, forsooth for ye know how I suffer for my size. And then she said, oh, shut up, you fat old cow. And I was like, what? And she already had a job, selfish girl. I never liked her. Right, little drama queen. Bad influence on ya. All that drug business in your teens was down to her. You stick with us, love. Blood's figure. And then she called me a flat-chested, bossy old bag. Sounds about right. She does all that innocent. I'm the poor downtrodden one. But actually, she's as hard as nails. She seemed pretty upset when I saw her, going on about the price of breast reductions. Showing off as usual. Did she mention me? I don't know. Anyway, I said to her, Gah, shut! What do you want to get them shrunk for? All women want big knockers. Really? I know. Guess what? You'll like this. Gloria Leaf split up with Dick. No! So who finished it, her or him? I don't know. Ugh, because you're crap at gossip. So, what sort of upset was Belle? Sad? Cross? Guilty? Or nobby? I don't know. I don't understand all that crap between you and Belle. Mates are for having a laugh with. Yeah, nobby. Get your fat ass in the gear. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah? All right, you ugly wanker. Hi, Belle. Guess what? I've got some really juicy gossip about Gloria. Really? Oh, look, I'm sorry about all that. I didn't mean to be horrible. Sorry. Right. Anyway, I don't think I was particularly horrible. Oh, make your mind up. You're such a drama queen. Well, it's better than being so boring that no one else but me will be friends with you. Actually, there's a lot of people who find you quite difficult, you know, Dolly. You're lucky I'm such a loyal friend. God, Belle! You wouldn't have a life if it wasn't for me organising everything. I don't ask you to. Oh, thanks! Don't overreact. At least I do react. Getting reaction out of you is like getting blood out of a stone. So, Belle, what happened? How was the party? Okay. So, what happened? Nothing. How is Niagara Falls? Okay. Well, what about you? Well, for fuck's sake, bloody bollocking hell! I don't believe it! Oh no, oh, no! What's wrong, Dolly? Oh, I've missed one second of EastEnders! Hi, Belle! How was the Battle of the Somme? Right. What's wrong, Dolly? I can't get this plastic bag open! What's wrong, Dolly? My tea's gone cold! I'm gonna kill myself! <laughs> so what was it like when Dolly killed herself, Belle? Oh, it's alright! And another thing, you killed my mouse. Oh, God, not that old chestnut. That was 18 years ago. Yeah, well, you never did apologise enough. I was trying to save him. You didn't feed him for nearly two weeks. And then when he was virtually starving, you gave him a bucket of popcorn. Bought you another mouse. I never liked him. Pink eyes. Oh, Frisky was lovely. And whenever I mention Fred, you laugh. I don't. I don't. <gasps> Poor Fred. <laughs> 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 but Val, all I ask is that you tell me the truth as a friend, my dearest, oldest friend. All right, I will. You're the biggest bitch out and everybody hates you. That doesn't sound like Belle. You don't know what it's like. You didn't even like that jumper once you'd finally finished it. I did. I loved it. I can't live without it. You said it was itchy and made you look flat-chested. That's not the point. Poor love. She probably had a heart set on that job. She can't knit. And didn't you say she found the job first? Why are you all defending Belle? We're not, dear. Well, it seems like it. And then she said I was a brain-dead lump. Hi, Belle. How are you? How's it going work-wise? Well, I'm working in here. So, Dolly's finally packed it in. She's in a poor shop now, with stock and everything. She deserves to get it on. Hmm. So, got a bloke yet? No, I... No, love. I'm happy. Just me and Perky. And Tay Perky, love. Dick and I have split up. No. Oh, right. So that was the gossip with Dolly. Here's that poster for the pub quiz for your window, Mrs. A. Hi, girl. Hi, Keith. Sexy hat. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm fine about it. Really happy. You can rot in hell for all I care. You don't fancy going out for a drink tonight, do you, Belle? Well, uh, I'd love to, Gloria. <laughs> I knock off in a sec. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. 
Mrs A, how could you give Belle my job when I told you how horrible she's been to me? I needed someone, love, and she seemed really keen. But she hasn't got any retail experience. What's that? She's been very cruel to me. But she's always been very sweet to me. Lovely girl. Yeah, well, you always were a fair-weather friend, Mrs A. <gasps> you rude girl! Ah. Piss off, Perky! Mrs A would have got under years ago without me. Oh, I know. I had this friend right in the stockroom at Diva and she... She calls me rude. And she said, do you want your sandwich plain or toasted? She's the rude one giving Belle my job. And it was hilarious because I bought a pie in. What? Can you imagine? <sighs> oh, sort of. Um, Sonia, I've done these new earrings. Little jumpers to match the big jumpers. What do you think? Oh, hi, yes. With the tiger motif and the make almost daisy trim. Sure, sure. So what was Belle doing? Not a lot. Is her hair still long and wavy? Suppose so. Oh, Nobby, you're crap at analysing people. Well, what did she say about me? Nothing. She said she's going on some holiday to Mauritius with Gloria instead of Dick. Mauritius? With Gloria? Yeah, they seem quite matey. Oh, right. <coughs> Anyway, Sonia's a real laugh. It's really stimulating being with someone creative. She doesn't just sit there like a wavy-haired lump showing off her completely overrated bazookas. I wouldn't say no to a fortnight with Gloria. Nobby, you're not supposed to like Gloria. She's the enemy. I don't like her. I just think she's a bit tasty. <laughs> <laughs> bit out of your league, good so. <laughs> oh, shut up, Concord. Anyway, I'm supposed to be the one you carry a torch for. Yeah, well, it's a bit dim these days. Like you, Nobby Nobhead. <laughs> <laughs> so she's still got the big glasses, then? Yeah. She's obviously hit it off with that Sonia. I suppose so. Well, what she said? Not a lot. Here, go, four eyes. It's your shot, if you can see the ball. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe that. Oh, I don't know. She said she was creative or something. Reckons they'll be business partners. Oh, right. Anyway, Gloria's asked me to move into her flat. It'll be great. She's really relaxing to be with, and she doesn't rabbit it away like a four-eyed budgerigar on heat. What about Dickhead? Oh, it's completely over. She's much happier without him. Has Dick come in yet? No. I think I will take my black speedo. You'll never get a bloke in that. What about that tangerine thong we saw? No, I don't like things that go up my bum. <laughs> <laughs> Here, Gloria, do you want to be in our men's team for the pub quiz next week? We'll make an exception for you. Well, maybe. I don't know much. <laughs> <laughs> Coming on well, Dolly. Maybe you could do some theme ones. Christmas, Valentine's, etc. I'm not promising anything, mine. <laughs> See? Mm. Pardon? Careful! There's a lot of chest complaints around at this time of year. Dolly, that's really rude. Uh, I... Anyway, it's not exactly crop top weather. Come on, Belle, I'm starving! Oh, hi, Alan! Like your shirt! <laughs> I hate Belle! But she's your best friend. Her only friend, more like. <laughs> <laughs> No one else would put up with her. I've always had a soft spot for Belle. Lovely smile. And she's right, you are always showing off your midriff. Just because you've got stretch marks. Dolly, there's no need to take it out on poor Alana. Dolly, I've always had a lot of time for you, but that's going too far. Don't you be horrible to my mummy. I hate you, Auntie Dolly! I just think as my family, you should take my side. Belle's always been nice to us, dear. But she hasn't been nice to me, and you like me. So you should turn against Belle. But, but we, we like, Belle. like Belle. But you like me more. Don't you? I don't. Of course we do, dear, but... Oh, but is it? Well, good. Because I hate you all. You're thick and boring and I'm better off without you on my side. I'd be free to develop my own fantastic personality with my new friend, Sonia. I don't need any of them. I'm happier on my own. I'm never going to speak to any of them ever again. I'll kill myself. Oh, no, it's no good for your stomach to take too many. Uh... Oh no, I might get nasty scars. I could hang myself, but I might be left with a funny croaky voice. I'm ill. That's what they don't realise. Probably fatally. Yes, yes, they'll all weep at my funeral. Hooray! 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 Wicked!
mope. Dolly wouldn't want us to mope. Dolly? Who's Dolly? No. What I need is a very serious accident, resulting in a small superficial injury, like a broken toe or something. And a mild but very worrying looking coma with a guaranteed time limit, like a couple of days. Yeah, then they'll be sorry. Glow, I've got that stuff to get the black dye from my t-shirt out of your undies. Oh, hi Dick. Hi Belle. Dick's moved back in and he's coming to Mauritius after all. <laughs> you don't mind, do you? You did say you were frightened of flying. Hey, do you know what, love? I reckon I'll dig up that patio and put down a nice little vegetable patch. Yeah, but we still haven't paid the lecky. Ah! ah what's, what's that, that leg doing there? there? I can't believe it. They found another body under the patio. Oh, I wonder if Belle's watching. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Dolly. Story is really boring. She's just a man's woman. Oh, Belle, it's sweet of you to apologise, but... Sonia gives me the intellectual stimulation that I need. Okay, fine! I don't need you! Did you see Bookside last night? No, I don't watch telly. Oh. That would have looked nice in these heart-shaped ones. <laughs> I don't know why you're bothered. That Belle's a wimp, Mrs A's an unstylish old bag, and your family are a bunch of losers. How dare you? They are not losers. But and you said... Belle's a really strong, kind person. And as a matter of fact, Mrs A might not be at the cutting edge of fashion, but she can look very smart on her bingo nights. And she wouldn't be seen dead in one of these. Don't go in there! <laughs> Don't be ridiculous to think you're the first person to think of knitted earrings. I thought of it before you. Prove it in court. <laughs> Harry Dobson, with one, two, three, four children. Wait till I tell Alana. Uh, oh, no. But I don't know anyone else who'd remember Valerie Dobson. Oh, I don't care anyway. I hate Alana. I hate everyone. <laughs> I knew I should have gone to the loo again in that cafe. I can go to the loo in the forge. Oh, God, locked. Oh, good, Gloria, leave. She'll let me use her loo. Gloria, hi! <coughs> oh, God, someone has to let me use the loo. It's the loo. Mum! Oh, Jesus Christ, I've relaxed my bladder now. Oh, God, oh, well, bugger it, I'm nearly home. Oh no, I'm nearly wetting myself. Where's my key? Oh, I've got to retans my bladder. Well, look, I'm really sorry. Can I use your loo? Why should I let you? Oh, please, I beg you. I'm sorry for everything. Yeah, well, it's too late. Piss off. I don't want to use your stinking loo anyway. Oh! I've blown it. Forsaken all my friends and my family for the sake of naked ambition. I can see my future. My fashion house in Milan has gone bankrupt. I'm lying there in my own vomit. My Ferrari is being repossessed. I'm soaked in my own urine, desperate, alone. Except for some young gigolo in the corner of the villa in his underpants, jacking up. Why don't you make your peace with Belle? Never! Welcome, one and all, to the first pub quiz at the Dusty Forge. Now, if you're all in your teams, we shall commence with the questions. Who won the 1998 World Cup? Uh, France. Clever darling. Who wrote the music for cats? Uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber. What colour is Postman Pat's cat? Uh, black, black and white. white. In which soap has a body been discovered under the patio? Uh, Brookside. How much is two pints of lager and two packets of crisps here at Dusty uh, Forge? 434. What word are Nolan's in the mood for with their 1979 hit? Dancing. Falling out about. Can anyone tell me what Dolly and Belle are falling out about? That's the last question. 
Don't really know. I can't really remember. It was because you shrunk Dolly's favourite jumper. And Dolly stole Belle's dream job. It wasn't my dream job, though. And it wasn't my favourite jumper. To tell you the truth, Lev, Belle wasn't right for the post. She just didn't have the energy or the go that you need in a store like this. Oh, sorry, love. I, uh, I didn't realise. It's OK, Mrs A. You're right. I am a bit lethargic. And my dad's let me back on the pumps. Is it time for your tea break, Dolly? I've been thinking that you're right. I am dull. And I'm going to make a real effort to talk more. Yeah, and I'm going to listen more. So... <clears throat> And um, Belle, do you mind if I just tell you something just quickly? When we weren't speaking, I saw Jimmy Coleslaw at that cafe with the fish tank. Really? Yeah, and I had a chat with him because I was desperate. And I started eating his chips without realising. <laughs> and so I got my dinner and my beer and Top of the Pops was just about to start and bloody Nobby knocked on the door. So I tried to ignore him. Oh, and Sonia never said anything that was relevant to what I was saying. But she always started with, oh, no, like it was going to be connected in some way. Oh, infuriating. <gasps> Did I tell you about the earrings? Oh, That Sonia was really good at organising things, though, wasn't she? I'm going to make a real effort to organise things and not leave it all to you. So I've planned something for tomorrow night. Georgia and Ben. Georgia? Oh, no, she hates Ben. Well, anyway, they're going to meet us at the Odeon. Not on Pike Way. The seats are really uncomfy. And we're going to see Perfect Play. That's supposed to be all. For. The Ritz is much better and it's got Judd on and Georgia gets on really well with Dennis. And then we can come back here and play cards. OK, great. Anyway, I didn't tell you about the earrings. Sonia had hundreds of these little jumper ones that I designed made secretly. Little jumpers? Dolly, that was my idea. 